In this video, I want to go through a CFA Level 1 exam style question on computing the EAR, or Effective Annual Rate of Return, given a stated annual rate of return. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question which I want us to have a go at. $20,000 is invested in an account with a stated annual interest rate of 10%. What is the value of the investment after two years of growth with quarterly compounding? And what is the investment's EAR? So very often in um, CFA exam style or CFA exam questions, you're going to be provided with no info on the frequency of compounding, uh, which uh, will make us assume that the frequency is, for example, annual. In this one, we're specifically told that it's quarterly in which case you need to um, take that into account when doing the computations. So in this case, the future value at point N, which is going to be after two years of growth, obviously, but I'm going to give you a generic formula. So FVN is going to be PV times 1 plus R. But here, you know, normally we would say to the power of N. But... Given the more than annual frequency of compounding, I'm going to add an additional term here. I'm going to call this M. I'm going to say, well, the rate of return ought to be divided by this term M. And the term M should also appear up here in the power or the exponent. Um, and ultimately, N, like always, is going to be the number of years, because that's what it typically stands for anyway. However, the M is the frequency of compounding per year. So in this case, if it's quarterly, we would have uh, the number four. Okay, good. Let's see what this gives in terms of our problem here. We've got the FV, after two years, so FV2 equals the present value, which is 20,000 invested times 1 plus 4%, no, sorry, 1 plus 10%, that's the rate of growth, 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 4, but to the power of 4 times 2, which effectively is going to get give us 8 over there. Let's see what this equals. Let's switch to the calculator view. Okay, let's input this into the calculator. We've got 20,000 times, let's open the bracket, 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 4, close bracket, and I'm going to raise this to the power of 4 times 2, so 8. So I'm pressing the Y to the power of X key, followed by the digit 8, and now equals, and as you can see, the answer which my calculator is providing providing is 24,368. Let's write this down. Good. Another way to get to the same result would be to use the TVM uh, worksheet. So if you were using the TVM, you'd first need to clear the time value of money worksheet. So second FV, and now provide those... Uh, relevant inputs. However, for N, you would need to have the number of periods and not uh, the number of years. So essentially, using the TVM, you would have N equal to 8. Obviously, I over Y, it wouldn't be 10%. It would be 10% divided by 4 because you'd need to scale the rate of return to whatever it is per period. If a period is a quarter, then this is going to be 2.5%, okay? Or simply 2.5. We would need to have a PV equal to negative 20,000 and obviously no, um, no PMTs. So let me clear the worksheet and have eight for N, 2.5 for I over Y, and 20,000 negative for the PV, and compute FV. Okay, 24,368. That is essentially the same result. Brilliant. That's part of the question. 
Now, in the second part, we're asked for the EAR, the effective annual rate. The 10%, which we've got provided in the question, is the stated annual rate. The EAR is all about founding, finding the annual rate of interest or the annual rate uh, of return, which, was, which would provide us with the same outcome as here, assuming compounding on an annual uh, with an annual frequency, so once per year. What is this equivalent to in terms of a rate where the compounding happens only once a year? Now, how do we compute this effective annual rate? The easiest thing to do is simply to say that this is equal to 1 plus r divided by m to the power of m minus 1. And don't worry, it's not something new. This is simply taking the term over here but stripping it of the, uh, of the n uh, parameter which is scaling up to a couple of years, right? In this case, two years. So what we would get essentially with the numbers from the question is you'd get 1 plus 0 0.1, that's 10%, divided by 4 to the power of 4 minus 1. Let's, let's see what this gives. Okay, so um, 0 0.1 divided by 4 plus 1 to the power of 4, so y to the power of x and 4 equals minus 1. Okay, and that's 10.38%. And when you look at the possible answers to this question, you can see that the combination of 24,368 and 10.38 uh, is very much in line with answer uh, C up here. So, um, yeah, that's the answer to the question. But let me um, tell you what the significance of this EAR is once again. If you had 20,000 invested, but this time at a rate of 10.38% per annum for a period of two years. So not 10%, but 10.38, but this time with annual compounding, not quarterly, but annual. What you would have after two years would be 20,000 times. 1.1038 to the power of 2. 20,000 times 1.1038 squared. So I'm pressing the x squared key on the calculator. And as you can see, the result would be 24,368, which is the same as over here. So this is... 10.38%, the same, the rate, which will give you the same result, assuming compounding happens annually. The same result as with 10%, where compounding happened once per quarter.